Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from 1 Kings chapters 1, 2, 3 and Acts chapter 7. If you are new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. 1 Kings chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 And keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn, that the Lord may fulfill his word which he spoke concerning me, saying, If your sons take heed to their way, to walk before me in truth with all their heart, and with all their soul, he said, You shall not lack a man on the throne of Israel. God the Almighty, through David, taught Solomon to walk in purity and obedience to God's word, so that his generations to come will be blessed. Likewise, God blessed Solomon with immense wisdom to rule the nation of Israel, and there was an eternal kingdom that unfolded through Jesus Christ from the line of David. In the New Testament, Stephen also was full of divine wisdom and in faith preached about the goodness, greatness of God Almighty through generations. He proclaimed Christ that he became the first martyr to give his life and in dying he asked God to forgive those that stoned him just like Jesus. The answer to his prayer was fulfilled as Saul, the man who attested Stephen's death, became Paul, the mighty missionary of God. As we read in Acts chapter 7, verses 58 to 60, And they cast him out of the city and stoned him, and the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. And they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Jesus. Amen.